It's been revealed a man shot dead at the front of his punch bowl home last night was related to the victim of another murder in the same suburb just three weeks ago. The latest victim was gunned down as he walked outside. The moment paramedics tell a mother there's nothing they can do. <coughs> a crowd quickly gathers to mourn this man, 28-year-old Bashir Arja, also known as Barry. He was shot dead after a phone call inviting him to step outside. My mum heard something like just these noises, like five noises, like boom, 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 boom. Two men were seen running away. We are very satisfied that what occurred was a targeted shooting. Arja had just bought this tobacco shop at Punchbowl and was engaged to be married. Police say he was known to them and Arja would have known his attackers. But that's not all. Detectives will investigate whether this latest shooting has any connection to a similar targeted attack a few blocks from here last month. Two men were gunned down, one fatally. The victim there, Ali Hashem Eid. His wife is Sana Elaja, Barry Arja's cousin. The shootings happened just three weeks and less than a kilometre apart. Both involved two gunmen firing multiple rounds. We will look at links between last night's shooting and certainly the murder of Mr Reid. Sydney's shooting count this year is 134, but police say they are making progress with 1,000 arrests, nearly 30 people charged. We will arrest offenders, we will place them before the courts. Live now to Hugh Whitfeld. Hugh, do police have any good leads or a motive? Well, Mark, Aliyid's death three weeks ago was possibly over a bad debt, but it's unclear how Bashir Arja would be caught up in that dispute. Detectives say they still don't have a motive for last night's killing, but they are taking a good hard look at both men's pasts for clues, including links to gangs. Mark. OK, Hugh, thank you.